the woman is not a virgin on her wedding night, she is to be stoned to death, and that planting two different kinds of seeds in the same field is a sin. But that's too hard for you, so you've decided that God didn't mean any of that, he only meant the being gay part. Listen, if you're going to spread hatred towards others by quoting the Bible at them, make sure that you first follow the entire thing, or shut the entire <laughs> up. Language! And then for most Christians, they just start going, wah, bah, 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 bah. Let me help you. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video, guys. Today, we're going to be checking out debunking TikTokers arguments against Christianity. So, let's give it a try. This issue of, yeah, well, you pick and choose. My religion says that being gay, bi, trans, lesbian is a sin. Your religion also says that having sex during your period is a sin. How can you ignore that? Your religion also says that eating bacon is a sin. How come you ignore that? Your religion also says eating lobster is a sin. Cutting the sides of your hair is a sin. Wearing clothes made out of mixed fabrics is a sin. Getting a tattoo is a sin. A man trimming the edges of his beard is a sin. You run all over to Leviticus and these other places, and you talk about an abomination, but then, you know, you'll eat shell shellfish, and, you know, and you'll cut the edges of your beards, and. You'll sow different seeds in your fields and certainly anybody, 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 anybody heard this? Anybody heard this? That if a woman is not a virgin on her wedding night, she's to be stoned to death. And that planting two different kinds of seeds in the same field is a sin. This is getting serious. But that's too hard for you, so you've decided that God didn't mean any of that. He only meant the being gay part. Listen, if you're going to spread hatred towards others by quoting the Bible at them, make sure that you first follow the entire thing or shut the entire thing. Language. And then for most Christians, they just start going, wah, bah, 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 bah. Let me help you. There are three types of laws in the Bible. There is moral law that is forever binding on all people in all places in all times. We have this summarized for us in the Ten Commandments. There are also civil laws. These civil laws were for the nation of Israel as a nation in the ancient Near East. These laws expired with the nation of Israel, but they are still of general equity because they're based on those moral laws. Thirdly, we had the ceremonial laws. These ceremonial laws were laws that were designed to do two things. Number one, identify Israel as God's unique people, worshiping him uniquely in their context. And secondly, to point forward to the person and work of Christ. So when you talk about cutting the edge of the beard, you're actually talking about ceremonial law and Israel not being like the nations around them. When you're talking about their dietary laws, you're talking about Israel not being like the nations around them. When you talk about civil laws, you are right. We are not bound by those as they are, but they are of general equity. This is why in in our own laws, we refer to things like negligent homicide, which in Leviticus would say, if your ox gores someone, you're accountable for what your ox has done. You don't have an ox, but you have other things that can hurt people. So we still have that same principle, which is based on our upholding of the sixth commandment. So the reason I pick and choose from the Old Testament is because number one, New Testament writers do that and teach me how to do that. Number two, Christ has come and we are under the new covenant. However, he has fulfilled the whole law and he has actually enabled me to keep the moral law. The moral law hasn't gone anywhere. So it is still wrong for you to murder me or me to murder you. It is still wrong to commit adultery. It is still wrong to steal. All of these things remain. So it is because I understand how the Bible is written and I use the Bible carefully that I don't just pick and choose according to what I like, which is the exact opposite of what you are doing. So I have a better question for you. You wanted to know why I pick and choose certain parts of the Bible. I can explain it to you in painstaking detail and it gets to an authority that's higher than me but what i want to know is this why is it that you get to pick and choose from the bible and you don't know why and you don't know how and whatever you choose is what you happen to want at the moment and what's better for our society people who decide what's right based upon what they want at the moment or people who understand and recognize that there is a law higher than themselves and who submit and subject themselves to that law. You answer that for me, and then we can go back to our discussion on same-sex marriage. So guys, Pastor Vody Beckham, he actually break it 
down and clarified it. He clarified it simply. This man of God needs to be protected by all costs necessary. Because he has been pondering on that word that lady said. When he first heard the video, I'm certain he was kind of like, what the hell is she saying? <laughs> what the hell is she saying? Let me break it down for my members. To see, so that some people who have heard the video before can understand the scripture itself we are all preaching in church. I love pastors like this. It's not about every time about other things. It's not about riches or calling other miracles or everything. This is what is happening in the world right now. And this is what we should tackle. This is what some Christians are missing out on. What is online that are trying to ridicule Christians, we should bring it out to our members and break it down for them to understand. This is the word of God right here. This is what we are following. Don't follow the word. They are trying to confuse you. Exactly. I love this pastor. <laughs> I will go check out more of his messages because this is what we are actually missing in the world. You know, all generations are different. Growing up, see where I am now, the way of preaching before have actually changed. You, do you get me? But pastors like this know what is happening in the world and is telling his members, don't backslide. They're trying to confuse you. Exactly, he just broke it down. He said, she should tell us why she also pick and choose. I love how he broke it down. It suits me. <laughs> it suits me in my body right now. Because I've never heard the word broken down like this before. I think that video, I've seen it before. The lady who was talking Leventicus and pick, picking out some verses in the Bible to confuse Christians. I've watched that video before. I was like, what is she saying? I skipped it. You get it. But hearing this pastor right now, Pastor Vodi Beckham, explaining it for me, ha, ah, I feel lucky. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love him. I love the teaching. I understand it now. I, kinda, I, I get it more. I am not 100% into the Bible, but I know a lot about the Bible. But right now, he just opened my eyes to understand the laws that we have. That I've never heard any preacher preach this way before, and I am pleased to hear it. <laughs> my goodness. If you're a Christian now, you have to be proud of yourself. You have to be proud of this pastor. These are the pastors we need in this world, guys. They have a lot of false weakness. There are a lot of people who want to ma make you confused about your own Bible. Be careful of those people. That's what the pastor is trying to tell us. Be careful of such people. And I love his preaching. 100%. Wow. <laughs> I want to be in this church one day. This was beautiful hearing this. Um, I don't know. Say, share your feedback with me. What do you think about it? You Christians, these are the pastors we should go to the church. Like, this, this are real pastors right here. This are real pastors. I have his name now in my head. Pastor Vody Becker. It's really good. This is incredible watching this video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel, guys. You know how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I got scales on.